Hey guys, I actually have more solder, don't worry. I just don't know where the one I was using is, that's all. Um, so how is everybody on this glorious Tuesday? Gloriously wonderful. And Schmiener, what the heck do you mean by a plinky plinky music stream? What? What's plinky plinky music? I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, so hey guys, um, so those of you who joined me last week, I was not here on Thursday, but those of you who joined me last Tuesday, you got to see me complete the Pocket Atari. That was glorious and wonderful. Um, and, uh, <laughs> you're in no mood for Plinky. And, uh. That has been, that project has so far been picked up by Technobob. I've been told it's going to be, be picked up by Hackaday, but they haven't gotten it posted yet. Um, they must have been a little bit backed up with things that were going to be posted. So, hoping it goes up soon. But um, there's been a few places that have reblogged it and stuff. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, as of this afternoon when I got off work, the video for it, the final video, which is a. Uh, 10 minute video has been viewed like almost 1200 times so that's pretty cool so just think you guys helped me in doing all that by being here and cheering me on so thank you guys um, there actually ends up being a ton of interest in that system I've gotten more inquiries about how much one costs to buy than I have for anything else and I'm really bummed out that I cannot find the screen like, I spent a good chunk of today trying to find a place that I could buy a, com a comparable screen to be able to use for it. And they, like, just don't exist anymore. It's like all of society has decided that a 2.5-inch screen with audio out is just not needed. It's just not necessary. So, whatever. I do still have, like, three of those screens, I think. Not that exact screen, but I think that I could do it with the other screen. Um, so I might be able to get a few commissions out of it. We'll have to see. But, um, but yeah, that's not something I am really worried about this second. I'm just, I didn't realize how popular it was going to be. And that does make me happy. Uh, it always makes me happy when people like, uh, like my projects. So, um, But yeah, you still support me, Logs, and that is all that really matters. All right, so today, uh, up on the agenda, I am supposed to be making a mixamp for DT. If you don't know what a mixamp is, it is to mix different audio sources together and output them into one, basically, it's like your headphones. Um, and be able to adjust each one individually. She doesn't want the most complex of mix amps that there is. She only wants one that she'll need to be able to use, which as complex as the ones that we, that what she'll need is, is she needs to have the standard RCA jacks in, and that will be for whenever she is uh, streaming from one of her consoles, when she's uh, capturing, capturing it, then she can put the audio directly, directly from the console into the mix amp and then also put her audio from her desktop into the mix amp. So that means that she can hear her alerts because right this moment, whenever she streams um, any of the games from consoles, she cannot hear her alerts. So whenever anybody follows her or donates or hosts her or whatever, she doesn't hear it. So sometimes she misses it. And so this will make it so that she can get both sound, both audio sources going in. It's going to have two different uh, volume controls for each separate thing. So for the console in, there'll be a volume control, and for the the desktop, for the computer in, there'll be a volume control. And then it's going to be a pass through. So on the other side, it's going to have the exact same mirrored, so it can actually go um, to the other sources it's meant to go to. So like her PC audio can then go on and go to the headphone or to the speakers. That's the word I'm looking for. Can't speak today. And, uh, and yeah, 
It, like she's probably not going to use the out part that often with her current setup, but I'm going to go ahead and put them in for uh, for future stuff just in case, so I don't have to go back and redo it again. And then it's going to have two headphone jacks on it, which um, so that her headphones will plug in, and like I said, she'll be able to adjust both different volumes so she can hear them differently in her headphones. Uh, so in case the desktop's too loud for her, she can turn that down. If her game is not loud enough, she can turn it up. And there's going to be two headphone jacks out so that whenever we're gaming together, um, then I can also hear. So, because that's generally nice and a good thing to do. So, well, yes, that'll work too, because um, that would all still work as long as you have the external source for audio can go through RCA, unless you want two different headphone jacks going in, one for desktop, one for, you might have just made this more complex. Um, sorry, I'm just reading over chat. Uh, move my mouse, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, three, f so you want, sorry, since this is hers, I need to get the specifications from her. So DT, you want to have the option to have your two RCA jacks in and two head, like two 3.5 millimeters in, so you can put like a stereo system in, or do you want it to be, I don't have the larger jack, whatever size that is. Um, yeah. So essentially this thing's gonna have like six headphone jacks on it. I am really thirsty today, guys. So, just come here a sec. So I don't have the delay. I just need to talk. Whenever you do that, would you also be using it ever with console? Because then that means I'm going to have to have three separate audio adjustments. Like, are you ever going to have two things plugged in? Or is there times when you have a console plugged in, you'd like to plug in your phone with songs? Because you just made that a third more complex. <laughs> still doable. I just need to have three different audio adjustments. Sorry, I'm now thinking, guys. I thought that I had this figured out. Uh... Finish me, Dad. She's definitely just made this more complex for me. Not impossible, just more complex. Um, I think I have enough headphone jacks between everything that I have here. Okay, so essentially there's gonna end up being six headphone jacks on this or six 3.5 millimeter jacks because she wants to be able to have the option when she's streaming from console to be able to put her desktop into it to hear the audio alerts and to be able to plug her phone into it that has music on it. And so she can adjust all three of them individually in her ears. So that means that there's going to be three different volume adjustments for every, this is, is going to be crazy. Um, I might actually not get this done tonight, but we shall see how it goes. Um, so yeah, we are going to go ahead and uh, move the mouse out the way, first of all. So it's and let's get you moved so that you can actually see what I'm doing. Oh, by the way, these first songs that I had lined up after the intro, that is brought to you by Karaoke Night. All right. Um, so th what we have here in front of us is a... Um, I took this out of our projection TV that we trashed. Um, I knew that the jacks would come in handy. So I am going to steal the both of the um, 
the RCA, just the red and white ones here and here. And I'm also gonna take off these headphone jacks and I forgot to actually put this into the full. Boom. I'm not still not used to having different setups. There we go. Now you can see better. So, yeah, I am going to, uh, this desoldering iron, as long as it's really hot. Where do I normally put you guys? There, okay. So, yeah, I'm going to be removing these, this, and these two 3.5 millimeter jacks. Um, I had a doohickey, that's right, doohickey, that is an official term that I had built, um, it's covered in electric tape right this instant, but I had built this um, for when we streamed directly from the Xbox One. Uh, when you're streaming from the Xbox One, they, uh, they don't allow a second mic input. And so whenever we would stream Diablo 3 together before we were doing it on PC, um, Nobody could hear me because I couldn't talk because she could, couldn't hear it and it just didn't work. So this is basically a splitter. Um, I had it, it looks like standard RCA jacks, but it's not. That actually splits up microphone and headphone and then I have it going to four, focus. I have it going into four different headphone jacks. The two middle ones here are for microphone only and the outside silver ones are the headphone jacks so that we could both actually hear and talk at the same time off of just one. So if this is just a splitter. So I am going to rip that apart because I need headphone jacks. Um, and we aren't going to need this anymore after making this mix amp. Um, but yeah, so I have a, I need to take the electric tape off. I don't need your rig though. lol just taking the electric tape off so I can actually get the stuff off of here I was originally going to have doom make a 3d printed case for this but now I instead I'm going to eventually ask him or hire him to make a 3d printed case for the mix amp it's obviously not going to have a very nice case to start with so I am so confused this is going, did you just tell me you're not talking about me? I know you're not talking about me. What did I say that made you think you were talking about me? I'm so confused right now. Um, anyway, right, I know I have more solder around here somewhere. I, I honestly don't know what I've done with my solder. So um, I'm going to be using this uh, as the basis for what we're going by. Hopefully it's not gonna end up that big. We shall see. Oh, well, everybody has a better rig than Schmiener. Come on now. Schmiener has an i laptop, an Apple laptop. Everybody's better than that. All right, so I have a brand new thing of solder, so I'm not in short supply of solder. I just would like to know where my other solder is because it's not done yet. So I have more than enough solder. Well, I don't want your rig, so... And that's not rudely announcing it because I don't want your rig. It's just a fact of life. Excuse me, Schmiener. You're talking about my wife. <laughs> uh, and of course, I don't think my scissors are over here. Or are they? I did not properly clean off my desk. There they are.
No, Schmooner, I'm pretty sure it's called a crap top. Oh my goodness, Solder, just let me, let me in. This is probably going to be, like, this is going to be a very relaxed modding session. Um, I don't have a deadline to have to get this done by. She does want to use it sooner than later, but I'm not even sure if I'm going to 100% be able to get it done tonight. So we're just going to go along and see what I can get accomplished. And uh, hope for the best with it. And I really need this plastic to come off of my solder. Or else there will be no actual stream because I have no solder. Ugh, come on! I still don't get what the heck happened to my solder. Okay. Finally made it into my solder, guys. Finally. What kind of solder do you use, logs? I don't have lead solder, which is really bad for you, even though I need to get some lead solder because I need it for some batteries that I need to do. But that's beside the point. All right, so the reason I need my solder right this second, I'm gonna be desoldering, except it is a lot easier to desolder if you actually reflow the solder first. So I'm gonna do that. It's also slightly confusing as to where these are soldered in. These aren't only just soldered into place, they also took the plastic, shoved it through, and then melted it down, so I'm gonna to have to like break the plastic, so yay. There's my solder. I finally got my other solder open and I finally found it. So guys, to give you an indication of how much solder is on one of these, I've only ever bought these size of solder. That's the brand new solder. This is the solder that I uh, am in the middle of using. There's a lot of solder on one of these spools. Good stuff. So that can go back over there. I'll finish using this one. No, I don't use cheap solder. I use safe solder. This is actually really good solder. There's lots of solder out there that's good that is not lead solder because lead is horrible for you and extremely dangerous. Uh, and most things don't use it anymore, which is why it's becoming a lot harder to find, at least here in the States it is. Okay, I am going to be removing both of the 35... Uh, millimeter jack so it's just easier if you just uh, remelt it down reflow the solder I was like if you're working with lead solder you're not supposed to let it get in your lungs at all so you're not even supposed to be breathing so of course it's going to burn your lungs it's bad for you man it's bad for you I'm weird. I actually quite enjoy the smell of my solder when that little smoke comes up that you're probably able to see on the camera. It's the smell of the rosin. I quite enjoy it. But it also doesn't burn my lungs, so. <laughs> Discovered tonight that I'm probably going to have to buy a new desoldering iron kind of soon. It's feeling like the handle's gonna break off and not too horribly long, and that is not a good thing. This is, it says 6040 rosin core solder, so you know, I'm not sure. I just know that it's not lead. Yeah, 
It's Radio Shack, so I have to say that Radio Shack solder is one thing that they are actually pretty legit on. Like, they don't overcharge for it as opposed to most of the stuff that they overcharge for. It literally doesn't, it doesn't say where I can see at least. It might on the tiny print, but I don't see it glancing at it. Highest, that's not a bad a bad outlook to have. That's why I have a few portables created that I've created because I was told it wasn't possible. Hence the pocket Atari. Yeah, when we're literally chopping apart the projection TV to throw away, as soon as I saw this, I was like, I need that. That has jacks on it, and they're good jacks. I need that. I need that for my pile of stuff. Now I'm very glad that I took it, because these are very nice jacks. Oh yeah, definitely not inside. I did, Caius. I think they only had one thing of solder left. That's what that new one is, actually. I got quite a few things. Um, by the time we got to them, they actually had already been cleared out quite a bit. I got another huge package of their um, of their assorted resistors, which I already had had one and I barely used any of, so I probably am not ever going to need resistors like ever again. So I am going to have to move you guys this way. My cord is not very long for my desoldering iron. Like this is all the further it's going to come. So let's, let's move you guys this way so you can see. And I just noticed that that light is like glaring right off of it. There we go. I'll move that back in a bit. And I need to move my chair. All right, what am I getting rid of now? Right. The, uh, these headphone jacks over here. keep calling them headphone jacks is technically not a headphone jack it is a 3.5 millimeter jack which just happens to be what a headphone jack is but it's not actually a headphone jack okay let's see if that one that's the outer one not quite Close, but not quite. Okay, so there is my first of many that I'm pulling out. Oh, 
On to the next. Pulling it out, it hurt your teeth. Happy to be extra careful because I have a soldering iron right next to me that I don't want to hit because that would really hurt. It's also quite easy to accidentally slip when using a desoldering iron and I do have my hand not horribly far away from it so... Okay, let's see if I can get that one out. Yeah, this one side is still keeping solidly. This side, whoop, get off of there. Can't even see. My thumb is hurting. The joys of having very weak thumbs when you're trying to desolder. It's not very fun. Sometimes if the desoldering iron doesn't get it good enough, it's better to just put some more solder on and reflow it all. Hey Beck, how you doing? Well, that just didn't do anything. I'm having issues with this one. Let's put more solder on. So I can melt it easier. Oh yeah, burning yourself with a soldering iron is lovely. However, burning yourself with a desoldering iron, that's much worse. <laughs> Since it heats up hotter. Done both, several times. Something I would like to avoid doing again. Okay, let's see if that got it. That did get it. Come on. Ah, there we go. So I have the other one. Now on to the uh, the uh, RC A once. These pins are generally easier because they're not quite as thick, so you can actually get the solder, the desoldering iron, completely over it, which makes it a lot easier to uh, desolder. I need to clip off the ends, the ends of these plastic thingies. That did not really do it as effectively as I was hoping.
Again, it is not doing what I want it to do. It's almost there. I might be able to squeeze it through. Let's see. Hey, do how you doing? I'm just trying to not burn myself right this second by accidentally overshooting. Actually, I do not want to resolder that. Let me find my desoldering braid. Uh, yes, Caius, I stocked up on solder and desoldering braid when they went out of business. Even though we do still have one open here. So, in case of emergencies, I can still get to one. I do try to not use them because they're so expensive. Getting my cable caught on my desoldering iron. Do your job, Braid. Get it out. That's better. Oh my goodness, I hate when the braid decides to just stick instead of actually do its job. Okay, hopefully that's going to have done it. Ah, shoot. So not the word I almost said. So in case you didn't see, that kind of just ripped one of them completely out of it. It shouldn't be an issue. I should be able to shove it back in. I just need to get it out of the board first. It's just not something I was wanting to do is all. It's 
generally not the goal. That one was sticking tightly. A mixtape. <laughs> yes, because Fibif totally thought that I said that I was going to make a mixtape tonight, and that was hilarious. Uh, which one was that stuck in? That was stuck in this top one. So it goes goes back in here, I believe, as long as I can actually get it to go in. Can't see. Oh my goodness, I might just have to wait to put it back in until I get the other one off so I can actually see how it goes in properly. I should be able to shove it back in. They're not supposed to be hard to like put back in and out. Oh, got it. I was just not going at quite the right angle, that's all. So there we go. All right, so that is one RCA jack and two 3.5 millimeter jacks. <clears throat> one more RCA jack to go. That is this one. This one looks different, like weirdly different. Yes, please don't talk about Life is Strange. Could you give me some water? I'm really super thirsty. Thank you, because I never get you anything while you're streaming. Jerk. I forget, Doom, which song is it that you deemed as the worst song of the 90s? Which I completely disagreed with. Because I pointed out that it wasn't the Macarena. Oh my goodness, just everything cooperate with me, please. Nope. 
not going to cooperate. Yeah, that's definitely not the worst song of the 90s because it's not the Macarena. This set has some weird pins in it, and they aren't wanting to uh, get the solder off of them. Like the pins are split. This is weird. Please don't get stuck here. There we go. That got it. Okay, so go down in between. That kind of sounds dirty. Except I don't think I can. I think I accidentally squeezed these together. Come back apart for me, please. without burning me. Or ruining everything. That would be great. know if I'm going to be able to get this one out properly guys there we go squeaky 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 there all right now I need to clip off these tabs harder to do here. I can't get it down far enough because there's components in the way. I think I get it out though. Ah, uh, let's see. So many different things everywhere. There we go. I didn't accidentally pull any of those ones out this time. All right, so I think I'm done with my desoldering iron, so I'm going to turn it off before I burn myself because I don't feel like getting burned. Call me crazy.
All right, there we go. <laughs> Shakira Wakira. <laughs> you never know, it might be. All right, can move you guys back a little bit. And I can move this back so I can actually see what the heck I'm doing because we are done with this. That's all that I need off of here. So that can go down there. All right, so we have two RC audio and two 3.5 millimeter jacks. I also have a audio pot that is for stereo. I only have one, so it's going to be a lot of mono things going on for each side to adjust separately. Um, I'm also going to rip this apart. I need the uh, I need the headphone jacks off of it. So get rid of all of my nice little wiring that I have on here. So everything is in the way. realize that this would actually make a lot more sense if you're more situated up here because otherwise my hand is going to be in the way a lot for this. Where are my tweezers? I always lose them. They're probably with where my solder was. Tweezers. I literally just shoved everything to one side on this table so I could do my finished video. So everything kind of got misplaced and jumbled together. There they are. Wrong stream, Schmiener. Oh my goodness, just cooperate, please. I know it'll make this a whole heck of a lot easier. There. That'll make this easier. does not have a very good grip up here. Now it is just a matter of actually just oh, look at that desoldering things. Oops, I don't have my desoldering iron over here anymore. That is okay because I have my braid.
Lol. I never really got into Tony Hawk. My goodness, everything's in the way. That might be good enough. Okay, so there's one more 3.5 millimeter. Dear thing, please melt the solder. These two middle headphone jacks are technically surface mount ones, and I do not like surface mount things. They're just annoying. Well, that's not entirely true. They're annoying if you're mod if you're changing it after the fact. They're actually really handy for saving room on if you're not ever planning on like moving them again. Oh my goodness, thing. Just take the solder off. Please. <coughs> Sometimes desoldering braid can be so awesome, and other times it's just such a pain in the butt. Are you threatening to cut fourth wife? Because I'm not down with that. Alright, there is another headphone, our 3.5 millimeter jack. These ones are kind of poopy. Now that something's not in the way, please actually get the solder. There we 
go. And that should come off now. There we go, just one more. And then I can actually start about thinking about how I'm going to be uh, laying this out once I get all the components in front of me. Come on, you can do it. Stop twisting it. Plus, plus stop. If ever you do use a soldering braid, remember not to actually touch the braid right afterwards. I've done that before. Gone to pull more out when it's just been heated up by the soldering iron. Yeah, that felt lovely. Just super lovely. Come on, you're the last one. Thank you. All right, so that should be all of them. There. All right. So you don't have to understand. Most people don't understand what I'm doing. All right. So, so far I've gotten two RCA jacks for audio and I have six and sets of two for sizes. <laughs> uh, 3.5 millimeter jacks which are all here. That is the six 3.5 millimeter jacks. So that's all of the inputs and outputs. Then I have one audio adjustment. I am so smart. I am so smart. Ugh. Okay. I also need several a thing out of my supply. One reason I'm making this the way I am is because I'm using spare parts that I have. So I didn't buy anything for this project. This is all stuff I had laying around. Um, I need to see this. All right. Um, I'm going to need like six. <clears throat> do I even have that many? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, I do. I have seven. I only have chips for mono audio amplification. So since I have stereo, I need to do each line as its own. And since she wants to be able to control up to three different things going in, that means I need to have six of them. So that's one. 
three, four, five, and six. So that's six of them. I don't really want to be this night. And I am looking at my, uh, at what I need. Um, the point one UFs, I'm going to need this, which I need six of, which I should probably only have seven of. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is my point one UF. It's not really a UF um, capacitor. That's for part of the audio amp. And then I need a 100 UF. That's these. And I need two per, so I need 12. Good grief. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All of the capacitors. That's okay, I don't get how my mind works either. I think you might be dropping frames. What was that? I think you might be dropping frames. No? Dropped frames, zero. Zero percent. Let's twitch them. Which means there's a lot of shit on However, my music just stopped. Oh, there it went back. Um, where am I? And then I need resistors. And thumb wheels. Which of course, I have one nice thumb wheel. Where did this nice one come from? I need all ones like this. Like I'm actually one thumb wheel short of what she wants me to do. Unless one of these is a stereo one. This one might be a stereo one. It has... No, it only has three going to it. Sorry, I'm kind of talking to myself. Talking myself through what I'm doing. I honestly don't know if I have enough parts to do what you want me to do. I think I'm one thumbnail short. But it's not like I can't do it. I'm not going to be closing this thing up anyway. So, because I have no way to close it up right this moment. So I can always go back and finish it later. Um... Yes, because I don't have any others. So I don't think I need anything else out of here. My resistors are in a different place. Is it that bad, guys? Yes, finger dancing on my creative stream. I suppose I could have actually done this number so you guys could, like, I could talk to you. Uh, I just can't see what I did, that's all. Hey, Hamburglar, how you doing? Uh, 
Where is OBS? Oh my goodness. Okay, guys, I... I don't want to just sit here on stream doing nothing, and it is not getting better on our end, at least. Um, so I am going to sadly... Whoa, that got out of con. That is not correct. Why did you do that? We're going to keep it here, then, for my clothing instead, because... Actually, I might just go ahead and resize it. I don't know why it did that. Oh, wait. No, I do know. I closed OBS. It really doesn't like when I have more than one of these selected. So there we go. Boom. Um, <laughs> so um, I am I am very sorry. I am going to go ahead and, um, and call the stream because I want to not have major stutter going on and uh and watch now it seems to have gotten better but yes hamburglar and it's way more popular than i thought it would be and um that makes me happy i mean i really love it i think it's cute and adorable and awesome and it's small but i honestly didn't think it was going to get nearly as much hype out of everybody else as it is and i'm quite excited that it is so uh but yeah I am going to go ahead and call it. Um, I'm sorry this was a short stream, but I will continue work on the mix amp next on Thursday, stream on Thursday. Um, after that, I actually think I'm going to go to my, uh, I think I'm going to pick up my handy gear and repair it. It hasn't worked for a while. Um, and I have a better screen to put into it and stuff. So I think that I'm going to do handy gear repair next uh, for my actual project. That shouldn't take horribly long as long as I can figure out what's all wrong with it. Um, I could potentially get it done in one stream. Um, I do still want to go back and actually complete my Super Joy Girl. But um, I need to locate some lead solder and some flux first, unfortunately. I don't want to use lead solder, but these... Uh, these batteries that I originally meant to use with the Pocket Atari, they have no tabs on them. And I need to solder tabs, and it's aluminum, and pretty much the only way to do that is with lead solder. So I need to locate some of that. I'm trying to get some off of Doom. Doom! Doom! Give me your solder! Actually, don't give it to me. Let me buy it off you. <coughs> Very nice, Hamburglar. Of course, that's how it normally goes, Caius. But now that I've decided I'm ending the stream, I'm going to end the stream because it just occurred to me I can go watch Xena, Warrior Princess, and that makes me happy. <laughs> but I will be back on Thursday, guys, and, um, and we will get this project completed then. I also didn't really... I meant to plan this out better, so I'll actually, like think about what I'm going to do so Thursday isn't such a mess of a stream in regards to what I'm doing. <coughs> I got a tickle. But, um, but yeah, I'll be back on Thursday. We will complete the mix amp. And then on Sunday, I'll be back with, um, with my Sunday fun day playing through Okami. And yeah, good times. Sorry about the short stream, but sometimes Twitch is a bitch. So, uh, but yeah. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Don't forget about my shirts, guys. Go buy a shirt.